All right, I think we are live. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to Stamp with Shell. My name is Shell Anderson, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I do short lunch break with Shell video tutorials Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at noon Central Standard Time. I'd like to thank you for joining me today. Today we're going to have a play with the True Beauty Bundle. This is a gorgeous stamp and die set. And previously I've done videos with this fabulous die, but we are going to be using some of the elegant elegant border dies and there's what you'll see them all cut out we're going to use this one today and i have used the little butterfly from the designer tags dies these are retiring as is the true beauty bundle and i used um this die from the pillow box dies which is also retiring for my greeting our ink colors today are blackberry bliss calypso coral daffodil delight balmy blue granny apple green polished pink and berry burst now there's a mouthful i've also used memento black for my greeting and as you can see, I've pre-stamped and die cut so you're not here forever and a day. So I'm just going to slide some of these up out of the way. And my card base today is basic white. And I've taken that and ran that through the um, stamp and cut and emboss machine. And that's with one of the basics embossing folders that up close so you can see that hopefully all right now I have to do some die cutting on this this is nature's prints DSP this stuff is gorgeous um, this is also retiring all the DSP is retiring now just off camera here I have my um, stamp and cut and emboss machine and I am going to get all the little dots off it first and then I am going to die cut each side of this with this die so if you just bear with me one second I'm just going to place that die and I'm going to use just a wee little piece of tape to hold that in place while I run one side through. Now I'll bring that in to show you. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. So just bear with me again while I tape this in place. Now, let's try this again. I want to get it so it's even. I don't want to rush myself here. There we go. We'll run that through. And this is going to create a little backdrop for all our gorgeous flowers. Is that pretty? All right, let me get rid of that. And this, I can put it on horizontally or I can do it vertically and cut off the edges. I think I can get more of those flowers on if I go horizontally. So I am going to go horizontal. Let me grab my 
Tombow. And we will get some on here and get this glued down. Just going to touch along those edges. off the tip a little bit there. There we go. And then we're just going to lay this in place. Just like so. Isn't that pretty? All right. Now we get to play. I have some beautiful, I don't know whether I want to go centered. Yeah, maybe I will do that. Center of this will be where I'm going to start. So I'm going to have one of these going up and one going down. And I just stamped these ones in balmy blue just to have a whole bunch of different colors. Now I doubt I'm going to be able to use all of these flowers so we're just gonna figure it out as we go. Alright so we have those in the background. I'm going to save those to tuck in after. And I have some in Blackberry Bliss, some little wee ones in pink. I've got a couple daffodil, a couple of berry burst, and a couple of calypso. So if I was to put a big Calypso one up there. Like so. Gotta make sure it's within the parameters of the card is the only thing. And I'm gonna bring in some dimensionals because I want this to We want some overlap. And I think I'll take this one and put it off to the side here. Flat. Something like that. And then maybe we'll take this one and I'm going to put glue on the bottom and a dimensional on the top and we're just going to slide that in behind there until we're happy with it. Something like that. Now let's do those yellows are pretty, but I don't know if I want two yellows together. Let's do another one of these, only on a dimensional. And because I didn't cut these out really well, this one slipped in the machine, I'm going to tuck that underneath. Kind of like that. See how that camouflaged that? All right, now I'm going to put one more yellow one. Actually, I'm just going to leave that for a minute. I'm going to use one of these blackberry ones. Oh, that's pretty. 
very pretty. Now let's tuck some leaves in behind here and there. But remember, we have to stay. I'm, I'm lifting up that dimension a little bit so I can tuck it in further. We have to stay within the parameters of the card, right? All right, where do I want this one? Maybe down here. Oh, that's nice there. Yep, yep. We just have to play with them a little bit and figure out where we want all the pieces. All right, I have some more of these. Let me do one up there. Yep. Tuck it in behind here. Well, maybe I will. I'm going to take my take your pick tool. I shouldn't have glued that down on that edge. There we go. Beautiful. Now I think I'm going to take my snips cut this one in half and I think we need to have one right there just tuck that right in behind like so do I need another one up here I think I do. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to loosen up that adhesive so I can tuck this down as far as I need to. There we go. All right, I think that's enough greenery. Now we have some little pink flowers that we're going to. Maybe this one can go on a dimensional. Tuck that in there. And see how fun it is to build this? I love this set. Then I'm going to tuck a little pink in there. Then perhaps, oh yes, that's going to be nice. I'm only going to go part way down this branch and tuck that in like that. And you st still see the leaves in behind, right? And I'm thinking maybe another one down here and one up here. But we're going to have to cut these down because they're too big. Same thing, I'm only going to put Tombow on one end. Pick that up and just tuck that in there and let it. I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And that will fill in there beautifully, maybe if I can get it in. There we go. I think I want one more of these flowers. On a dimensional, but offset. So that dimensional 
tuck down there. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Now, I caught a little piece of green DSP to put behind this, but I don't think I need it. I think I'm going to put my greeting right across the center, like so. I am going to do it. I'm going to grab a couple of dimensionals. I'm just going to put one on each end because there is a lot of height here and I'm going to put it on those flowers. The only thing, the only problem that I see with this is we're only getting little peaks of that yellow. But maybe that's okay. Alright, so far so good. Now, we could use a little bit of bling. And I used on these, I'm trying to use these up. These are retired six months ago, but I'm trying to get them used up. They're called Genial Gems. And they're um, just little tiny sparkle gems that just add a little something something. See how that just adds a little something special? How pretty is that? I think that's crooked. There we go. That's a little better. I'd like to have one there. I have more of these in here. Let's see if I can get a package out. Oh, I see what's going on. I've got them in two cases. And... I want to put one at each end of this little tag. So this way, beautiful, beautiful. Now, I, I don't think that card needs anything else at all. I think it's way over the top already. And I've done a couple of these little butterflies, but I think it would just take away from what's already on there. I think I'm going to put something on the inside. Oops, we've got a little hangover. Let's trim that off. Don't want any hangover. All right, do we want butterflies? Do we want flowers? What do we want in here? Maybe a little piece of greenery and a flower. Let's have a look. Oh, that's going to look nice. Let's put this one. Um, okay, let's do this one first. I'll put this in place down here in the corner. And, oops! Heavens to Bitsy. Let's see if I can get that in the same place. There we go. Stuck to my finger. Now we'll put some adhesive on this. And pop that down there. And I think I'm going to put this butterfly up in this top corner. Or maybe over here. This application, I don't really need the butterfly. Speaking of butterflies, I just thought of something. Instead of those dots on the front, I could have easily used those little tiny brass, brushed, brushed brass butterflies. Anyhow, there is our card. Have a little bit of excess glue here. I'm going to wait till that dries and we'll, because I'm just going to butcher it. Once that's dry, I'll take my eraser to it. But isn't that pretty? And just check out all those layers and dimension. 
and then our inside. And that is the True Beauty Bundle. Beautiful stamps. And this die here is fabulous. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope to see you again here real soon. I'm here Monday, Tuesday, or sorry, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at noon Central Standard Time. Bye-bye for now.